High-risk stage 2 melanoma is defined as stage 2B and 2C melanoma patients. These patients actually have a risk that is the same as patients with a stage 3A or even worse than patients that uh, have a stage 3A melanoma, more similar to a stage 3B melanoma. The current standard of care for patients with stage 2B and 2C melanoma is a wide local excision of the scar area where the melanoma was previously diagnosed with a diagnostic excision with one or two centimeter margins, followed by a central node procedure. Per definition, the central node is negative because otherwise they become stage three. Uh, and since the central node is negative, then they continue into surveillance follow-up because at the moment there is no uh, regular acuvant treatment yet available for stage 2B or 2C melanoma. The Keynote 716 trial is a randomized phase 3 trial that randomizes patients between a year of fixed dose pembrolizumab at 200 milligrams every three weeks versus a placebo. This is part one of the trial until patients have a relapse. If they have a relapse, they are unblinded. And if they had the placebo, they can cross over into the pembrolizumab treatment. Or if they are more than six months after the last dose of pembrolizumab, they can be retreated with pembrolizumab. And that's two of the trial is still ongoing. And we have now presented only part one, the first results at Ed. The key findings of the 716 trial were that the relapse-free survival after 12 months was improved for the patients on the pembrolizumab treatment. In absolute terms, there was a 7% difference, which means that 83% of patients on the placebo arm were disease-free after 12 months and 90% after a year of acuvant pembrolizumab treatment. In terms of distant metastasis-free survival, the benefit was less. All, about half of the patients developed distant metastases as their recurrence, which means that the benefit was approximately 3-4%. Based on these results, um, acuvant pembrolizumab is likely to be approved by the FDA uh, sometime uh, at the end of the year. It's currently being reviewed under the accelerated review process. And since the study was positive, it's likely that it will be approved and will, will be uh, reimbursed, which means that the acuvant pembrolizumab can become a new standard of treatment care option for patients with stage 2B and stage 2C melanoma. One important thing I consider for my personal practice is the number needed to treat. And with a 7% benefit, that means the number needed to treat will be around 14 patients at the moment to prevent one recurrence. And if that is a local regional recurrence, a surgical procedure and acuvant therapy at that point in time can also be considered. Uh, the benefit in terms of distant metastases was around 3 to 4%, which mean, means the number needed to treat to prevent one distant metastasis from occurring will be around 30 or above, even above 30. Uh, that means that I believe that the EMA and uh, payers, insurance companies in other parts of the world, like in Europe, might not approve pembrolizumab treatment for stage 2B and 2C melanoma or might not reimburse it. Personally, I think it will be a um, discussion you must have with your patients because uh, there is also the chance of adverse events that you need to weigh and since the number needed to treat uh, exceeds actually the amount of patients you will harm with acuvant pembrolizumab with, for instance, um, hypothyroidism. I think it is an important discussion to have before considering a patient for this treatment.